The Rich Rabbit. Spanish fashion designer Cristobal Balenciaga wanted women of strong character to wear his designs. And guess what? Now the entire world loves Balenciaga, but only few can afford it. This brand is known for setting trends rather than following them. Cristobal pioneered the baby doll, tunic and waistless sack dress, while later Nicolas Guiquier launched the Laureate handbag in 2001. Model Kate Moss was the first to carry it, ensuring that waiting lists for this it bag were off the Richter scale. Christian Dior was in awe of rival Cristobal Balenciaga and once said, Haute Couture is like an orchestra whose conductor is Balenciaga. We other couturiers are the musicians and we follow the directions he gives. Balenciaga began when Cristobal Balenciaga opened his first boutique in San Sebastian, Spain in 1918, which expanded to include branches in Madrid and Barcelona. His mother was a seamstress and as a child, Cristobal worked with her and learnt his craft as a couturier, tailor and pattern cutter. Before he opened his first boutique, he already had experience of 20 years. When the Spanish Civil War forced the boutiques to close, he moved to French capital, Paris. Here, his success was almost immediate with customers traveling across Europe risking their safety during a wartime period to see his designs. However, it was not until after the war that his inventiveness as a designer was fully realized. The lines of his designs were sleek and linear, moving away from Christian Dior's new look, which had championed the hourglass shape. The tunic shift, cocoon coat and high-waisted baby doll dress are just some of the designs he created after the war. His models were called the monsters because of the strict instructions Balenciaga gave them. They were told to utterly walk down the catwalk with stern faces and had quite the bad reputation. His attention to the female waist and the different looks he used to complement it attracted huge attention and is considered to be his most important contribution to the world of fashion, a new silhouette for women. After a hugely successful career, Cristobal Balenciaga closed his fashion house in 1968 and died in 1972. The house lay dormant until 1986. That year, Jacques Bogart SA acquired the rights to Balenciaga and opened a new ready-to-wear line, Le Dis. The first collection was designed by Michel Goma in October 1987, who remained at the house for the next five years amid mixed reviews. He was replaced in 1992 with Dutch designer Josephus Thimister, who can be credited with beginning the restoration of Balenciaga to an elite, high fashion status. However, neither of these designers achieved the same success as Cristobal Balenciaga. During Themister's term, Nicolas Gekier would join as a licensed designer and eventually was promoted to head designer in 1997. Gekier, like Cristobal, designed clothes for strong women and his work attracted the attention of Vogue editor Anna Wintour. Kate Moss, Chloe Sevigny and Charlotte Gainsbourg, individual and unique trendsetters became ardent fans as well as muses. Taking inspiration from Balenciaga's early work, Gekier told Vogue in 2006 that he was inspired by all the extreme part of Balenciaga's work. The over-decorated pieces, the organic pieces and the futuristic, absolutely abstract pieces. Cargo pants, Lego-like heels and Laureate handbags were just some of the trends that he launched. On November 5, 2012, Balenciaga announced that he was parting ways with creative director Nicolas Gekier and Alexander Wang took over as creative director. 
Wong showed his first collection in February 2013 and he honored Cristobal Balenciaga, showing a beautiful collection that honored the founder's fashion legacy. Describing his creative process, Wong said, I just did what was coming from my heart. You don't always have to do everything at once. Women still want something that feels liberating, that feels new, that feels inspiring. Women want to be seduced. Alexander Wong brought a new dimension to the revered Balenciaga name. Youthful, edgy and wearable, yet still eminently stylish. However, Wong left the brand in 2015. Following his replacement with Wetement founder Demna Guasalia, the brand came into a new level of success. High beasts everywhere flocked to the ultimate dad shoe, the Triple S trainer, as well as the Balenciaga runner before it. For its FW17 campaign, Demna pioneered a series of designs based on the campaign materials of Bernie Sanders. This solidified Balenciaga's status as a brand both known for quality and relevance. When Demna came to Balenciaga, he took the same approach, wanting to discover the method of Cristobal's work, his approach, how he saw a woman and his mentality behind his creative process. On the runway, the first women's show presented a sporty, modern version of Balenciaga's coats. For instance, turning the famous 1950s couture coats that stood out like sculptures around the body into giant bomber jackets. Although the brand's identity is firmly anchored in its ready-to-wear collections, the heritage of its legendary founder Cristobal Balenciaga, its leather goods, footwear and accessories lines have also achieved global success. Balenciaga additionally places emphasis on developing its men's ready-to-wear and accessories lines which have met sound success. Initially highly selective for its distribution methods and networks, the brand has since developed in an environment that respects its spirit. Through its own stores and e-commerce websites, as well as through franchise stores and a presence in leading multi-brand boutiques around the world. Demna's Balenciaga is instilled with an intelligent fearlessness that plays out in both its design ethos and business approach. Through social media and effective logo use, Balenciaga has grown to represent a movement, one that questions the very essence of fashion. Balenciaga is influencing fashion. Demna Gvasalia's collaborations have repositioned the idea of luxury fashion. The shift in perspective resonating with the brand's young consumers who are calling for fashion with political, social and environmental awareness. For Demna, integrity remains intrinsic to the brand's DNA. It seems 102 years on, Cristobal Balenciaga's MO proves just as appealing. And thanks to Demna's careful balance of innovation and elegance, the brand has found its triple S-clad footing in a brand new age. The brand is among several increasingly coating male shoppers as a fresh growth avenue, as luxury goods spending is increasing worldwide, especially by Chinese consumers. Some rivals like Louis Vuitton have recently changed menswear designers. In April, caring finance director Jean-Marc Duplay said Balenciaga was extending its men's business without detailing how. With an employee strength of over 1,400, Balenciaga is one of the biggest and luxurious names in the fashion world at the moment. In Balenciaga's story, innovation was the key, as they kept on upgrading themselves and they are still doing that to this day. With the advent of new forms of footwear, particularly the sock sneaker, Balenciaga released the speed sock that attracted much attention amongst influencers and fashionistas alike. Balenciaga describes the sneakers as elevating the sock-like construction of performance athletic footwear alongside an oversized articulated sole to establish a sporty and forward-looking profile. Kylie Jenner, Hailey Baldwin, Kim Kardashian, Offset and others proudly flex their Balenciagas whenever they get a chance. It all starts with a dream and motive and then the entire world follows you. 
Don't forget to check our channel for other interesting videos. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos.